And of course, I think that we should fight for a more fair and human future. And I think Elite uh, treats some things of those uh, you mentioned that help this, no? And, and that make maybe the teenagers or young people who are watching the show feel related and, and say, oh, I'm not the only one who feels like this. Um, I'm not alone. Um, like, like they feel hurt. The Platino Awards is one of the most prestigious and glamorous award shows that honors the Ibero-American cinema. Our Juliana is in Madrid covering the event exclusively for the Q Agenda. Let's take a look. Hello, LA TV family, Q Agenda family, and all of my family. It is your girl, Juliana Joel, and I am here from the city of Madrid, Spain, which is buzzing with excitement. Why? because it's Los Premios Platino. This is the night you've all been waiting for. This is the night I've been waiting for. Now you guys, everybody's here. William Levy, my future husband. He doesn't know that yet, although he is married, so I can't touch that one. Diego Boneta, uh, Daniela Santiago. There's gonna be a performance by Becky G. All the stars that you are obsessed with, as am I, they are here tonight. So I'm here with one of the nominees tonight, Diego Boneta, how are you feeling tonight? Great, happy to be here, happy to be celebrating. Uh... Latin, Spanish speaking, and Portuguese speaking film and television with friends that I haven't seen in a very long time. And it's very special, you know, it's the first time I'm attending one of these events, uh, you know, since COVID. And um, it's very nice to be here in person. Speaking of Latin speaking and English speaking, you are someone whose talent has truly crossed borders. You're everyone's favorite actor and it doesn't matter what country it is. <laughs> okay, come on, you know it's true. So I, I'd love to know just a little bit on your, your opinion or your message on inclusivity and representation in media. I think it's very, very, very important. I think, uh, and I don't want to be a, a pessimist, you know, it's not like, you know, when I moved to LA 14 years ago, it was very different to what's going on today. Spanish is now a global language. There's a lot of people watching uh, content in Spanish all over the world. I think it's going in the right direction. I think there's a lot to do still in media and everywhere. I think there could be way more inclusion. Uh, it's something that we can control and it's something we should do. And then finally, in addition to that, you have a great relationship with organizations such as GLAAD that represent the LGBT community. Can you give a quick message to LGBT youth who are facing, you know, constant bullying and discrimination, especially in the U.S. after the administration we just finished? I know. Listen, I, I think that we're all human beings. We're all equal. You know, I think especially after what we went through, hopefully you'd think that COVID would help people uh, just put things a bit in perspective. I think that we have to respect each other, you know, and that's just that's 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 just what we have to do. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm I'm with you guys. I'm a big supporter, uh, and uh, I'll I'll fight the fight with you guys. So I'm here with the stunning and super talented Esther Exposito. Esther, how are you? I'm fine. I'm really, um, I'm really happy. Not just because of my nomination, but also because I have a lot of um, mates from the show, which are uh, who are also nominated. So I'm very proud, and I have a feeling, a strong feeling of family and union this night. Amazing, obviously this show is a big deal if you're nominated. Now people also became obsessed with you after the show Elite. Now that show was such an inclusive show when it comes to the LGBT community. What did that mean to you to be a part of something that brought so much more visibility and love to that community? Elite was an incredible project and uh, of course meant um, a lot of things to me, but yeah, it was very special to be part of a um, show that enters so deeply in these uh, social things. And uh, all those fights, uh, we, the young people, have to be stronger with uh, more than ever because uh, the future depends on us. And um, of course, I think that we should fight for a more fair, and human future and I think Elite uh, treats some things of those uh, you mentioned that help this no and, and that make maybe the teenagers or young people who are watching the show feel related and, and say oh I'm not the only one who feels like this um, I'm not alone um, like like they feel hurt you know so here I have the stunning the beautiful the powerhouse Daniela Santiago Daniela como estas como te sientes Hola, mi amor, me siento muy bien. Estoy muy feliz de poder estar disfrutando de este precioso evento, viendo otra vez caras conocidas. Feliz. 
Y Daniela, un mensaje para nuestras hermanas, nuestros hermanos de, de la comunidad trans. Quiero mandar un beso y un abrazo enorme a todas mis hermanas de la comunidad, a todos mis hermanos, decirles que tenemos que estar más unidos que nunca. Corren tiempos difíciles, pero sé que estamos dando pasos agigantados y que no van a poder con nuestro colectivo ni con nosotras. 